I'm working on a 2001 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. It's got a 6.0 liter and a coolant leak. I believe it is the water pump, but I'm going to pressure test it and see. My first step was to pressurize the cooling system to help find the leak. From underneath the vehicle, with the front splash shield removed, this is a view of the weep hole on the side of the water pump on the passenger side. You can see that's where the coolant's coming out. I need to drain the coolant. The radiator petcock is low on the driver's side of the radiator. It has a hose that's connected to it that goes up and it's just held into a bracket. It's really tough to get through with the camera, but anyway, you just grab the hose, pull it down, face it into your drain bucket, and then loosen the radiator petcock until it let all the coolant drain out. Remove the air intake duct and the top half of the fan shroud. I'm removing the upper radiator hose to make it easier to get the fan shroud out. Use some pliers to squeeze the clamps on them and uh, just twist the hose and slide it off. The fan shroud is held on with two 10 millimeter bolts here and down there and four of these plastic trim clips. I didn't bring home the right tool to uh, disconnect those but you can use dikes and just lift on the center of it, get it about that high and you can slide it out. To reinstall it, you just push it in the hole, push the center of it down, and then it's tight. You can take a big wrench, put it here, smack it with a hammer, turn it off really fast. Um, they make, you know, fan clutch wrenches, you can use those. Or, one of my favorite tools, an air chisel. Take the air chisel, you put it on the side of the hex, and then you just bump it to try to turn it counterclockwise to break it loose. That's all it takes. I'm removing both belts. I could get by with just removing one of them, but I prefer to not get coolant on either of them, so I'm going to take them both off. 15 millimeter on the tensioner, turn it clockwise. Then a 3 8 drive on the AC belt tensioner. The next step is to remove the serpentine belt tensioner. It's held on with three 15 millimeter bolts. Um, I'm also going to remove the idler pulley. It's not really in the way, but it will make it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. These three hoses need to come off. Remove the thermostat with two 10 millimeters.
Should you decide to replace the thermostat, it comes as an assembly with the housing. Now all that's left holding the water pump on is six 10 millimeter bolts. Three here and three over here. There she is. Next, the gasket mating surfaces have to be cleaned. You can use a razor blade and try to scrape it all off the best you can. You can use a gasket scraper and get most of it off. Even if you do that, you probably still have to go back over it with some sandpaper and clean it all up. But I prefer to do it a little different. I'm going to use my, my small angle grinder with a surface conditioning disc on it. It's not necessarily recommended by the manufacturer, but it works for me. I'm going to blow out the coolant passages a little bit with some compressed air and try to get it dry enough to reassemble everything. I'm going to follow that up with some brake parts cleaner. 